We've had a little leak in our engine bay under our gearbox for a while, but sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So our friend James is moored very near us. He's gonna come and have a little look at the engine. But I'm a bit nervous. So here's the current situation in the engine bay. The little bit of water in there is fine. It's just because we've got a cruiser stern and it's been raining. But this, this spill here is what we're concerned about because it's red and it looks kind of like oil. So, yeah. Hello. Our friend James is here to have a look. Help us out. It's so hard to see the bottom of the engine. I know, they're so awkward to get underneath. Found the leak. It's where the gearbox meets the engine. Okay. Which, it could just be the case, I'll, I'll tighten it up, see if that fixes it. But it could be the gasket's gone. Okay. Which is the case of taking the gearbox off and putting it back on again. Right. Boom. Oh, that tiny bit. So we think we know what it might be. It might be that the engine gearbox has just got too much oil in. Maybe we overfilled it last time we did it. Which means that it's kind of seeping out of the drain plug of it. Which isn't urgent and it's not a big deal. James is just going to get some of the, the oil out and hopefully that'll be it. We shall see. So we've drained some out now. Probably too much, but yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's metal. That's, <laughs> our gears have been grinding down. On closer inspection, James found some metal fragments in the oil from our gears grinding together when we changed too fast. So we gave it a good clear out and added some new oil and so far, so good. Thank you! So we're pretty confident that James has found what it was. So now I am completely trying to get all the water out of the engine bay. Okay, so I've got all the water out. There's not much point doing anything else because it's winter. However, I've cleaned these drains out, which means that the rain should be able to go down the drains now and not in the engine bay. This is everything I got out of it. Overall, pretty successful day. I think I've owned a shower and a cup of tea and so has James. We'll put their Instagram down below. <sighs> so I've got changed and there. Uh, washed my hands and had a wash and I feel so much better. I feel really accomplished and I'm glad that that we did it and even when James is gone I'm glad I cleaned the engine bay out because even though it's winter it's worth just keeping on top of it. I'm just gonna chill now. I've just gone to try and shut the hatch. It's been on its way out for a while. Oh no. Is it off? That's not supposed to be there, is it? It's not ideal, is it? Because uh, that's what the lock's attached to. Oh no. It's worse because it's the outer one as well. It's properly shut for the first time in there. <laughs> There's literally no lock now. Oh. Welcome back to another episode of the Nomadic Crowbar. Not the hatches! <laughs> Where's Chris when you need him? Oh dear. Right. Do we have any of that sea like strong glue? We ain't got anything to hold it on though, it has to clamp on for anything. James has got some clamps. Maybe yeah, that'll have to be open. We were waiting to kind of talk about this until it was a bit closer to the time, but now as good a time as ever. We're actually not that devastated about the fact that the doors come off because it's been broken <laughs> for a while. And we're getting some new ones fitted in March, which we're very excited for. But so we're locking it now. That's the outside. It's just a metal flap that, from the outside, you can just open and climb in. Which means we basically can't leave the boat unattended now at all until it's fixed. There's also a substantial draft. And it's minus four tonight. Hello, oh. I'm a burglar. I'd like to come in. You cannot come in. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a burglar's coming in. This is our only solution for tonight. We're just going to tape it with very thin, cheap tape. Hope it holds, you know. 
It's not going to hold. It doesn't hold cardboard together. <laughs> All right. You can't see much because of my head touch, but it's absolutely freezing outside and I'm having to tape up the hatch. How's that for secure? Mainly it's just to stop the draft. Okay, so this is the solution for now. To be honest, it's not that bad. It's, I've been able to cover all the drafts, all the holes, and it feels, feels pretty secure. And this is what it looks like from the inside for now. Good as new. It's so funny though, because I'm gonna be late. I'm meant to be having a movie night with our friends tonight. And we always are late for stupid reasons. They always seem so made up, but they're real. Last time it was, sorry we're late, we just have to finish chainsawing the wardrobe. <laughs> And now, sorry really, we're sellotaping our hat shut. For the drafts. I've done about half a day's work and it's my lunch break and today on the menu is fixing a side hatch. Amy's various draft exclusion methods did actually work quite well last night given that it's so cold that the canal's partly frozen but it's sunny and it's dry so it seems like a good time to try and glue this thing back on it's gonna be cold a cold job tape held up quite well as well now we just gotta try and not ruin the paintwork leaving res like no there it goes. So first things first, we're just cleaning it so that the glue actually sticks to the steel. Amy's now gone down and started cleaning all the other windows for some reason. So we've had this for ages, but the lid snapped recently and we were gonna throw it away, but look how good this is for cleaning. And it's good for the boat as well. Good for the windows. Amy. I've only got an hour on lunch, I ain't got time for you to clean the entire boat with a new brush. Come on. That looks pretty clean. Good work on not pouring water <laughs> into <Yeah>. the boat. <laughs> I'm just sanding the back of the hatch first. It's mainly because that's what people do whenever they do things with wood, they just, they normally sand them first. I don't really know, it just feels right. We have this inspecting the job supervising us. <laughs> I think the plan is we put a bunch of wood glue on the back to glue it to the steel and at the same time we put a bit in the holes, put some new screws through the steel into the wood and James also said you should put a layer of sealant around the, the rim of where the wood is so that the water can't drip down behind and into your bulges. Then we're going to use these massive clamps to clamp it on for like four or five hours, maybe longer. Yeah, it should be as good as new. Well, good as it was yesterday. It feels too easy though, like given how many times we've watched Crowbot. Don't say that before we've done it. So what we're currently debating is which adhesive to use. We've got Gorilla Glue, no more nails but indoor and plastics and I think we're gonna go with this one. Adhesion for common surfaces, flexible, internal and external, anti-mold, waterproof and weatherproof. That sounds pretty good. And we bought it from Midland Chandler's so it's boaty. This is the one and then maybe we'll bang, mix, maybe we'll just <laughs> do a little concoction. Let's stop it. Don't need that. We're not looking for precision. <laughs> She's going in raw. Here oh. we go, whoa. That's quite a big glob. That'll be all right, or no, more? I'd, I'd do more on the edges. <laughs> my lunch times are so much different to my co-workers. Think that'll be enough? That's quite a lot. Put some no more nails in the holes, it won't hurt. Okay. Oh, goodness me, that's... That's all right, that'll do, go. I want to race against time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm on Baker. Oh, look at that, precision. Right, 
goodness. This is intense. <laughs> Nice! We're just going to screw it? it in now. And yeah. hope, hope for the best, yeah. Ooh! It's gone in at a bit of a weird angle. Oh That'll do, it's got to be holding <laughs> summit. <laughs> well, I reckon we just bob a bit more of this in. What, around the hole? Around the screws? In the holes, around the screws, around the top. Go on then. It's anywhere we feel like it. Oh. We're not going for aesthetics. <laughs> just to the really... middle doesn't need any more, what no, are you doing? It's just got a giant hole in it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Right then, just in here. Where's you need the nozzle for that. Oh, no, you need the nozzle for that. I've got fingers. Oh dear. That'll do, won't it? There's always a point in our DIYs where one of us goes rogue. I think it's my turn. No, don't put more on. It doesn't need any more. I don't know. Wow, he's... Where's... Put the silicone down. <laughs> I'm not finished. To be fair, I think that's about as good as I expected it to go. Yeah, I'm... It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, we but think. We're not too aspirational. My goodness, that's some really nice sitting. The practice in his just being around the boat while we're out. Good boy! You can mooch. Mooch, not too far. Stay within the vicinity of the boat. All right, better get back to work. It's the evening now. So it's been over five hours now, which should be plenty of time. We might as well take it off now. If it's not stuck now, it's never going to be stuck. I'm a bit nervous though. Just one, two, three. And hear a slight, like, almost crackly noise. Four. Let go then. It's on. Normally we'd just. <laughs> Yank it to close it. It's the only way really to shut it. Ooh. Oh no. <gasps> we glued it on right. This really is a crow pop moment now. <laughs> I can't deal with this. No. I think the wood's like warped over time because when it was broken we'd sort of have to like lift and close. Obviously now we can't lift. Try and just pull it like we used to. You can't not. <sighs> Oh, it's even worse than when the door wasn't on. I'm going to try and file it down and hopefully that'll do enough. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it's not perfect. But it does close. It makes a bit more of a crunchier sound than I remember. But it might do. I mean, it's still on. Well, that's sort of done. We can get on with our evening again and go to our friend's boat for a little games night. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. Might let a bit of water in, but it'll do. Thank you. No, it's fine. No, it's right. I can go there. <laughs> <laughs> Spray. Spray. <laughs> the same colour. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode, and if you want even more hatch-related chaos, we'd highly recommend checking out the Nomadic Crowbot. Great big thank you to our patrons and those who bought us chips this week. Thank you for your support. And remember, check us out on all them socials.